Good morning everyone. Today is a day of maintenance. Not a whole lot's going to be going on here. But I do have to fix something. It's in the yard. Uh, especially the front where Riddy keeps digging. I'm going to reinforce that and make sure that she's not able to dig there even if she wants to. Um, and besides that, same old trash run, cleaning up the dog. She needs another shower because she's dirty again. Uh, with all the rains, she goes in her dog house. She brings her wet fur in there and then she just rolls in her rug thing, uh, blanket. So have to wash the blanket and have to wash the dog. And yeah, just gonna spend my day out here, I think. Raphael's already inside learning, studying. Ooh, bad bugs. And Abigail's gonna come with me while Andrea is working on her site and other things. Come on, puppy. Let's go. Oh, jeez. So first thing is first, I gotta go throw the trash out. It's really nice not having rain once in a while to be able to go out to the yard and do things that uh, have been neglected. Hello, I'm glad you can see me again. It's kind of sad to think that I just did this a week ago. I leaf blew everything after I washed the cart. And you can tell this is a, a hefty amount of sand that comes off of our shoes every time we have to get up here. And of course the tires is basically what brings from there to here all the garbage. And yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this again. I have to fold the pool, it's been there for a while now. Yeah, just making this look nice again. Gonna have to sweep dust all of this too. Terrible. So since I'm probably gonna wash the car, I'm just going to go ahead and dust here. I already did the other porch and uh, this will hopefully make a lot less mess to deal with later. I get away my bike. Go ahead. Okay. Bye bye. Hello there. Sure is trying to hide. Well, I gotta get him out of here. Alright, this looks so much better. And now I just gotta put these back there um, behind Abigail. Got those. And that is thing, those are all things in this basket that are for Andrea to handle. I'm not sure what she's doing with them exactly, but she does. She knows. Um, yeah. I don't know what to do with this stain. It's been dried here since ever. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about right now is. I'm gonna have to put the car back here, and all of this is gonna get a little dirty again. But once it's done being dirty, then it'll be really clean. For about a week until the rain keeps coming every day. And a uh, week after the rains every day, it gets pretty bad. I guess I'll put this up as well. My original spot was over there in a corner because we were gonna start painting it before it rained every day. Hi. Hey, yeah. Hey, this is hanging on the day. That's right. She has her swing right here, and Raphael is about to be done with his schoolwork, has his trapeze right here, he loves it. It's hard for him, it's a challenge. It's really good. And yeah, life's looking good right now. We're Daddy, hot and sweaty. Build this for me. I built it for you? Oh, I blew it, yeah. So there was a spider web, and uh, that was blown. She loves to swing. <laughs> Try without your feet swing back and forth. Actually, she grew so much this year that I can probably raise it up. I did have it raised up before, but it, it was uh, too tall. I can tell you something. Yeah. I put three seat belt on. Three? Yeah. yeah. So Abigail harnessed herself and clipped it in on one of the two sides. Three out of four. Very good. Ding. Okay, missed. Ka Ding. Ka yeah, she's touching it, so I guess a good time. Um, Raphael still can't rock himself. Extremely surprising considering the fact he can mountain bike just fine. Like he can't rock his hips and he does like stuntman things on his bike with rocking himself. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, time to get back to work. Definitely. I guess I'll get this done for Raphael as well. He usually has a very hard time starting on the project and he barely ever likes to finish it. Like I don't know he loved, used, he used to love cleaning it because that means he's gonna play, but um, he expects Abigail to help him and she just can't cope with that. So I'll do all that for him and he'll just have to put it in a trash can and we'll throw it away. Okay, I fixed the front of the gate where Rudy was digging and I put that there to dry up. And my guess is I'm gonna have to take it down because yeah, it's like our daily rain thing is coming up over here. So I'm gonna start getting wrapped up here. Where'd the car go? Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna wash the exterior of it only today, and then I'll do the interior tomorrow, as it's probably going to rain. Yeah. So that'll be that. Hey there. Hi. What's up? We're playing pretend Minecraft. Alright. Go for it. Abigail's the healer. I'm the warrior and hunter. 
Okay. So I got the warrior and hunter with the sword. Go on before it rains. Done and done. Looks much better, much nicer, and I'm gonna have to wash the insides tomorrow. Had to send a kid inside. Well, kids actually, both of them. It's fixing to rain, it's fixing to be thunderstormy as well. I can hear it, it's been here for a little bit, and it's time to go inside. I'll have to continue tomorrow. Uh, so Rudy's gonna take a shower tomorrow, and Cara's gonna get an inside bath as well, tomorrow. And it looks like we have tea team, broccoli, and salmon. You like it? Mm-hmm. And Mommy um, and Raphael will be here soon as well. Beautiful. Just as the day ends and we got everything we needed done outside, it's raining. And that cooling mat right there is not gonna get hurt. Luckily, it's, it's like this plastic fabric thing, so it's not actually gonna get really wet. And it'll probably be dry again by tomorrow. I could use a washing, actually. But uh, the sheet outside, I, I don't have to take care of that. But yeah, it's white again, right? Hi. Are you glad to be inside washed and nice? Yay! <laughs> Post I... dinner. It's one of my favorite things when I was a kid. I want more of that dinner. I already had dinner. I uh, took a shower and then it's TV time at the end of the day. Hey, Abigail. I'm having fun hey, with Daddy. I was having fun with my sword. Googie. I'm watching TV. The uh, air conditioner was set to 83 because Andrea was cold, but put it back to 78 and now everyone about me is freezing and I'm still hot. So it's raining, it's one of those gloomy days, which I actually like. Anyway, <laughs> that's our life. Um, more dishes to do today. And I made salmon for the kids and Hadar. And I also made patatine. I don't know if he showed you, but it smells so good. My first experience with team, which is Israeli couscous. I think it's all gone, unless Daddy put it in the fridge. I think it's all gone. Um, my first experience with that, it just had oil in it. No spice, no salt, nothing. Just oil. And it was so good! I was also starving at the time, <laughs> uh, but it was so good. It just hit the spot. It's the first time I ever had couscous before. I watched a documentary recently about uh, scents and it being, like scents that you smell, and it being really bad to have scents in your stuff. However, I got gain and I'm so happy to have this. Not because of how it smells, but how it cleans. Because I had Dollar Tree soap for like three months. And it just didn't lather, but this stuff lathers. But lathering is a lie, supposedly. Uh, there's a lot of like chemicals in a lather. And soap is supposed to do just the same thing, except you don't see the lather. But I like to have the lather. Um, I also enjoy the smell. It's not one of the reasons why I buy something like that. But they said the reason why it's bad, the scents, uh, is because they're pro pro proprietary. So that means it's a secret and they don't share it with anybody. Like on the documentary, there was a boy who was deathly allergic to Axe body spray. Every time he went to school, you know, because he was a teenager and all the boys are wearing Axe body spray, I guess. So every time he went to school, even though they warned all the parents, please don't let your kid wear Axe body spray, somebody did and he went to school to try it again to see if he could be a normal person. And somebody was wearing it and he went into anaphylaxis shock. And, yeah. And so he had to be rushed to the hospital after he used his EpiPen. But Axe will not tell him what he is allergic to because it's proprietary and it's a secret and they won't tell anybody, even though he's definitely allergic. Um, on Minecraft, a zombie holds a wooden sword like this. It goes like this. When he tries to hit you. But we don't hit people, yeah? Well, we do if it's a monster. We don't have monsters. Look at this. But if we did, we would have had to hit them. Wow, you doing push-ups? <laughs> very do good. A push -up. I mean, sit-ups, sit-ups. But I want to do a push-up. You can't touch the floor with your body. Okay. Good job, Raphael. 
I still have this plan over here because I need to wash it before I put it away. So it's like sitting here reminding me every day. But it looks pretty while it's here. Let me do it. I need a bread truck tomorrow. Okay, can someone? No, not tomorrow, but next week they're get, they're going to a chiropractor, and I think it's going to be good for them because I believe they do have EDS. So I think it'll be good for them. Don't pull them up. Just hold them down. Yeah, hold her. Hold his. Uh, My feet. Hold her. Hold his feet down, Abigail. Hold his feet down. Okay, go ahead, Raphael. Ah, uh, doing great. Wouldn't you rather do it on the carpet, though? Kitty's got the right idea. She's hidden over here in this design. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> What is it, Kitty? You respond to your name. Did I do it? Go ahead. For dinner tonight, I think we're going to have tuna. More fish. Uh, when I go back to eating again, I'm going to have to eat a uh, inflammation lowering diet. And I'm really thinking about just becoming pescatarian and eating like Mediterranean. You know, with the healthy oils and uh, still low carb but having lots of fish and uh, lean meats. Um, not a lot of bacon anymore, unfortunately. Not a lot of beef, uh, lots of chicken and turkey and uh, fish. But I'd, I'd like to try pescatarian. I always thought that that was like the healthiest diet, uh, just to eat eggs and fish and vegetables basically um, fruits they they do make me sick I'm gonna stay away from the majority of fruits uh, probably for the rest of my life I I can live without them but um, to be on an anti-inflammatory diet I can have fruit I just uh, I need to be careful of what I eat and since I haven't been eating it's going to be a lot easier for me to keep a journal, write down everything that I eat, and see how I feel as I eat it, an hour after I eat it, and the next day. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I have to be really, really vigil about that. Anyway, I've never had a problem with tuna. Um, I do have food aversions to tuna and fish once in a while, uh, and then I can't, I just can't. Ugh. Uh, same with eggs. Uh, I think I'm going to make just uh, some wraps for everyone tonight with tuna salad. I just want to say that Abigail was having a hard time eating tuna. She didn't like tuna anymore. She just ran over to me and said, tuna, yum. So for her, we do have to keep introducing food and just seeing if she'll eat it and uh, seeing if she gets over her, you know, I, I'm the same way. Like if I don't want tuna, I ain't eating it. You know, it's, uh, I am the exact same way. Yeah, we're gonna eat this. It's Zesty Ranch. I bought it for subs a while ago. And I'm going to put some dill relish in it and that is going to be their dinner tonight. So easy. That's what I need right now, so easy. And I got some left in case somebody wants to eat it on a cracker. Oh, really? Kitty, did you know I had tuna? You know I had tuna? Kitty? Yeah, she been meowing. She been meowing, yeah, I know it. I know. We used to get the tuna that had juice in it in Israel and we would give it to her sometimes, but uh, we're not buying that kind anymore. We're buying the, the cheap pouches. I got them on sales, buy one, get one. So I ordered them online, actually. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I'm wearing a shirt that is, uh, it looks like it's getting baggy, but it's not. Um, ow, kitty, she's attacking me. <laughs> with the mouth open she wants that tuna I'm able to get into this shirt now and uh, I'm really happy about it it is a little shorter than what I'm used to wearing I like to cover that part up which is not decreasing at all uh, it's decreasing up here just not down here yada yada so that's my new shirt and it is a size large when I get into a medium that's when I know I've made it <laughs> that I can get into several different size larges but this is like an actual real size large um, that I was not able to get into 
uh, every maker is different. They have the same size, but they're different sizes, so you have to know your size when you go. I go to Goodwill. Uh, you have to know your size when you're looking for clothes, though, uh, because every maker is different. And I know um, international sizes are way different. Like, if you get a 3X, it'll come extra small, like XX small, not XX large. So, yeah, I had that problem ordering online before. You have to know the fabric also, and does the fabric stretch and stuff like that if you're ordering online stuff. I am done with my duty for right now. Hadar's gonna unload the dishes and I'm gonna wash the rest and uh, then we're just gonna chill out tonight and enjoy the rainstorm that is still happening. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. Have a good night, we'll see you tomorrow. I have to go get a chiropractor adjustment. That's gonna be good times. The guy said, oh, I just almost had your neck in a good spot. Yeah, because they just saw me do dishes yesterday. Yeah. And I just did dishes, and every time I walk in here, the only thing that I want is for this whole counter to be clear. Mm -hmm.